empires on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com a chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. You are obsolete, Mr. Wordsworth. A lie! No man is obsolete! You have no function, Mr. Wordsworth. You're an anachronism, like a ghost from another time. I am nothing more than a reminder to you that you cannot destroy truth by burning pages. You're a bug, Mr. Wordsworth, a crawling insect. An ugly, misformed little creature who has no purpose here, no meaning. I am a human being! Words, Mr. Wordsworth! that have no substance and no dimension, like air, like the wind. I don't care. I tell you, I don't care. I'm a human being. I exist. And if I speak one thought aloud, that thought lives, even after I'm shoveled into my grave. Delusions, Mr. Wordsworth. Delusions that you inject into your veins to make you think you have a strength when you have no strength at all. You have nothing but spindly limbs and a dream. And the state has no use for your kind. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. Now to show you how scared they are of us, we now have the White House memos. Joseph Farah's on the show Friday to talk about this. Where what was Clinton worried about in 1993-94? Whitewater Vince Foster homepage. I remember that site listing all the deaths. People with their arms and legs chopped off, shot nine times in the head. Fami Malik would rule it a suicide. Clinton's medical examiner. Remember all that? The Clinton Chronicles? All of it. 
oh, how to shut down communications on the net between congressional Republicans and right-wing conspiracy theory proponents. And again, they talk about defining any criticism of any claims of corruption. That doesn't exist, even though it all came out. New York Times article, Washington Post article, San Diego Union Tribune article, Washington Post article. This was them freaking out over just a few articles. Can you imagine now how they feel knowing that the average MSNBC show has about 100,000 viewers, their top shows half a mil? Can you imagine? Now, now what's going to happen here, though, is, is that they do have the stage terror card, and they will probably play it. It's all they've got, even though we're going to expose them on that front. And I think because they are so exposed, it'll be incredibly heinous. I think, I think Obama's thinking about nuking New York City. I, I really do. And, and I've been telling you that for a long time, and now you said his number one fear is a nuke. He doesn't say who blowing up Manhattan. And I think what the Bundy Ranch message sends them is this. The word's gone out that criminal elements hijack the country and are staging terror attacks. And so even if you try to nuke New York to bring in total martial law, even if you unplug the Internet and everything, it's not going to work. And I know you have a total bloodlust to go after bitter clingers and socialist and communist are the foot soldiers of the foreign banks. The fascist, but they use socialists and communists as their foot soldiers, and they so hate freedom and so want to put us in those weatherman camps and so want to be able to just say your kids belong to us and totally take over once and for all uh, that they may do anything. That's why it's important to really dominate them up front. Because if you let one tyrant stand up, they might all stand up and stage a terror attack, and then there goes America, and then we'll have nuclear war, and there goes the planet. To turn a bug's life on its head, you let one ant stand up, they might all stand up. And then there goes our way of life. Well, what about, we keep letting the tyrants run all over us? They're going to get so megalomaniacal, they're going to jump the shark and bite off more than they can chew. It's not just with us. They're starting wars with Russia. China's starting wars with Japan, seizing their ships for ships Japan took in the 1930s. War is brewing because there's a global financial meltdown happening because of the derivatives and attacks on productivity and overpopulation in some areas. I don't believe in the general theories of overpopulation the way they're deployed. There is overpopulation in many areas. And there's cultures that don't have missions and are just living in absolute squalor and hell. And the globalists are usually aiding and abetting that as the British Commission on, Human, on Population stated in 49. I mean, they admitted that. Because they don't want to give Promethean fire to the third world and build them up. You industrialize, you quit having an, even enough kids to replace yourself. You get a 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 replacement rate. You need 2.1, as everybody knows, to even hold the society up. So they've figured out a, a collapse algorithm where they see the collapse before it happens and they orchestrate it before the flashpoints come that cause a, a, a collapse that they're not steering. You see what I'm saying? And then in that collapse, they plan to target the best members of the human civilization because we're seen as alpha leaders who challenge them in their override of humanity. And that's, again, their ultimate sin. I keep restating that is a sin against humanity. Even if you believe in God, that is a sin against the species. It is eugenics inverted, not even targeting of the weak, it is the targeting of the strong. But eugenics was always about that. That's outer eugenics is the targeting of the weak and the, and the, and, and, and the mentally ill. But it's, it's authored by inbred globalists who were obsessed with genes because they were so inbred, most of their children were absolute nightmares or, or were born dead. So the elite put all their money into finding what made humans operate. It's incredible. I mean, they are master builders. They are incredible engineers. They are smart. I mean, I'll give it to them. But the thing is, they've got this twist of cane in them that makes them so wicked that anything they build ends up being predatory and just destroying everything in its path. Collectively, th the globalists are an artificial intelligence already. And, and, and let me announce to you here now unequivocally that an artificial intelligence has existed for at least 10 years and it is called the internet the internet is a upload of an already existing sentient 
system, but on a mass scale. It is the collective Minnesota multiphasic uh, system squared to infinity, algorithmed and sent into the giant mainframe grids to predict the future and then be able to steer the future with artificial stimuli brought in from the outside. And I've told you this for 10 years. Now it's mainstream news. And this artificial intelligence is piloted. You can say, is it conscious? Is it sentient? I would say it is because it's animated by the ghost and the machine that is human will and intellect and choices and desires flowing through it. Okay? But then you've got almost possession of the artificial system by the technocrats at the top, those that control the keys to the NSA and the Microsoft and Google grids. And what the elite did was decide to carve it up so that one person didn't have all the rings of Mordor. And so keys or rings were given to Microsoft, given to Apple, given to Google, given to the NSA. The Pentagon wants keys. That's what cybersecurity is. They're all battling. The Chinese were given keys. The Brits were given keys. NATO was given keys. Interpol, to a certain extent, was given keys or rings. They were given rings of power, to use that analogy. That's actually how the globalists uh, describe it. I said it's like a palantir or a ring, and now we get the secret NSA documents. That's what they call them, rings and palantirs. I mean, I just know their mind because I have an organic system as well that's able to gather the data and understand how humans operate so i know how humans are manifesting because i know man i know how they're manifesting in the artificial intelligence you understand that the artificial intelligence there it is seven people who've been entrusted with the keys of the internet i didn't even know that was in the news i already know most of the time what's in the news before it's in the news because i know the mind of this system because i live it and i study it and you can see it all being built around you. So remember, from the beginning, they wanted to keep libertarian or traditionalist or conservative ideas out. Or anyone just exposing, man, a lot of people are getting murdered. A lot of people are dying. Vince Foster, this shows these are just people we're facing. And they'll always be people. They claim they're going to dial into the internet. They claim they're going to be sentient and tied into everything. And then they openly say in all their writings that... that those of us that don't join the collective will be eliminated. That's a 1970s Pentagon document that was reclassified. It was declassified in 2001, reclassified. The Federation of American Scientists released it, and then it was reclassified. But the Pentagon said full-spectrum dominance is the evolution of television, smart computers, uh, smart glasses, smart contacts, the first ports that will be status symbols, brain implants, and then moving completely into humans that will live a time in tanks for their safety in an embryonic uh, dream state, basically, into the neural hive. They call it a hive. And then finally, you will transcend your body uh, and the uh, biological side of you will be removed. And if you don't accept that you will be just stepped on like a bug to quote Ray Kurzweil. And you're going, Alex, I've heard of this before. It's called The Matrix, yes. The Wachowski brothers got what they put in that movie from a lot of sources, but it came, ladies and gentlemen, from the Pentagon and DARPA. The internet came from DARPA and the Pentagon. This is a master decision that has been made to end you and your family as you know it. The mega churches have all brought the Xboxes and smartphones in for the kids. They're telling the women divorce their husbands. I mean, you are just going to see the total manifestation of evil, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to see the will of the horrible people like Ezekiel Emanuel and Bill Gates and Bill Clinton and George Soros and the Queen of England, you're going to see these people given this incredible power. And I'm here to tell you the singularity is going to happen in stages. But the singularity for humans dialing in, for the elite to be able to predict general future trends to with 100% algorithm is now happening. The problem in the algorithm is alternative alternative, independent media exposing criminal operations because if you revert to your original human programming against corruption, 
And if you click back into that mode and not their new programming, they can't predict the future. They can only predict the future because they're feeding you the stimuli to be able to predict the future. That's how Amazon can begin.